This week, Russ went to Monster Mania, and up next, he's going to tell us all about it. This is 4K Kings. I am Russ, live on Sunday from Monster Mania. Let's see what we got going on in here. So yes, Matt, last week I attended uh, Monster Mania. It's our local convention that features celebrity guests, vendors, panels, all the stuff you come to expect from geek conventions. Hmm. Was it packed? Was it uh, filled well, with B top B list or top C list stars? Uh, honestly, it was a little light this year. I light. can't lie to you. But you know, it's always a fun time. Okay. Headlining this year was Christina Ricci. Was it really? It was. I did not meet Christina Ricci, though. Spoiler alert. And what's that mean to headline? She's just the biggest name there. Let's and, put it that and way. And that's for what? Adam's family? Uh, Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Now we're talking. Casper. Besides Christina Ricci, we had from Halloween Kills, Nick Castle, James Jude, Courtney, Aaron Armstrong. Also in attendance was Joe Bob Briggs and Darcy the Mail Girl. Yes, Joe Bob. A bunch of people from Cobra Kai, the Monster Squad Kids, Tony Todd, James Remar, Tom Arnold. Okay. Mark Boone Mark Jr. Boone. and Kim Coates from Sons of Anarchy, amongst other projects. Fun time. Fun time. So, Russ, walk us through. I mean, what's what's this about? Aside from the people that are there, is it just booths? Is it is it panels? Is it discussions? Are they just selling stuff, taking pictures? Like, what is this thing? All of the above. All of the above. All of the above. Who's on the panels this year? Who who's giving talks? Well, the way every guest I just mentioned. Everybody so let's does say, one. Yeah. Oh, well, let's say if Kim Coates and Mark Moon Jr. are there, yeah. they'll do a Sons of Anarchy panel. Nice. If Christina Ricci's there, obviously she's just going to do a panel herself. Yeah. yeah, it was in a um, almost like a warehouse this year. Typically, they're at hotels. It was more spacious uh, than prior years. I got to walk around. There were some representatives from Vinegar Syndrome who I oh, neat. I pestered for some release information. I have a pretty good setup going on here. Is there any uh, Vincent news coming out? No, none that I can. None. Tell. Can you give me any rumors about any upcoming releases? I know that like monthly. No, I can tell you for sure that you won't be disappointed in the Black Friday titles we have coming out. I can't tell you what they are, obviously, on or off camera. As somebody who has never seen Sons of Anarchy, I know you are a fan. I'm a fan. I had to go back to one of my favorite. I know we rip on Bruce Willis a little bit on this channel. Yeah. In love. In love. Because we are fans. We are. But uh, I had to go back to a childhood staple, The Last Boy Scout. Okay. Is what I discussed with uh, Mr. Coates. <laughs> Let me preface by saying he was intimidating as hell. Really? Dude, and he talked a mile a minute. Imagine this. I'm nobody, right? He's like, I'm a theater guy, streetcar named Desire. And here I am in a scene with Bruce Willis. <laughs> He's like, and not that there's anything wrong with Bruce Willis. He's, he's a good guy. He wasn't mean, nothing like that. We're pals to this day, you know. Blah, blah. <laughs> and I tell him, I'm like, dude, I, I have this movie basically memorized. And I start saying, you know, the, the cigarette scene. He's in one scene in the movie. And he's like, oh, that's great. That's great. Man. Hey, you smoke, you have a cigarette? Come on, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I pulled out a cigarette and we go. And he, dude, he did the whole scene with me. That's awesome. <laughs> like, that's awesome. Right down to, you know, I see him to drop my cigarette. I have another. He's like, sure, pal. Sure, sure, sure. You know? Yeah. And right down, if you go through the picks, even at the end, you get two for two, baby. He threw up the two. Oh, baby. Two for two. It was one of those experiences that you, you want to have when you go to these types of things. Well, it's pretty wild that he's in, only in one scene in that movie that you love. And that's yes. what you remember him for and are there to talk to him about. I wonder how many people come to him to talk to him about that specific scene. I mean, his whole career, basically, he's known for Sons of Anarchy at this point. Maybe that gave him a chuckle. at Filthy Studios. Favorite horror movie is the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
great choice. Hey, we're Bear Money from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Mine is Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2. Reanimator. Oh god, great choice. And yours? The original Pet Cemetery. Is there any way I could ask you your favorite horror movie? Yeah, so Mark Boone Jr. Yeah, yeah. Bobby was, Elvis. If Coates was cocaine, Boone was... He was Boone, a bottle Boone of was, Jack. Boone was fentanyl. <laughs> this one's a problem. The dude seemed awesome. He is older. Well, uh, I, I do want to say that. And he wasn't miserable, dude. He was a so blast. Was a Mark Boone Jr. was a blast. Do yeah. not get me wrong. I don't know if it's because Paradise City is recent, but man, did he want to talk about Paradise City. Really? What the yeah, fuck? You can see the emotion on the faces of everyone around you. Love there he is. <laughs> I don't often say this, but I'm fucking great on this show. <laughs> Okay. Very humble. Mark Boone. And you don't even want to fuck with that man, daddy. Tell me about Tony Todd. So, convention ends. We run into a guy who's working the convention. He tells us, uh, hey, you guys want to hang out with Candyman? <laughs> kind of a thing. You guys want to hang out with Candyman? Yeah, and he's going on like, you know, I was hanging out with him last night. You know, we were getting fucked up, partying and all this shit. This yeah. is about six o'clock. Okay. okay. Wow. And we're not meeting up with Tony Todd. So we didn't meet up with him until around midnight at the Holy casino. Shit. He shows up, man, and he recognizes the guy, comes over, and he is just hanging out, dude. He's got, as you can see in the picture, he's got like this hat on. Yeah. Uh, dude, how tall is he? He looks like tall, he's like really bending over. Oh my God. Yeah. To get into the picture. And he's looking old, man. Like, I haven't seen a recent picture of him. He he's is looking dude, a little old. He, he is full of life. Is he? Though, That's cool. Man. He was drunk. The fuck does that have to do with you? Or maybe he was just having a good night. I don't know. But uh, like, life is beautiful, man. I love life. <laughs> yeah. He's like, life, you guys are real. You know, I like hanging out with the real people and just being with the people. I love my life. I love my life. He's like, I wouldn't change it for nothing. Even funnier, the next day we show up, Tony Todd's not there. <laughs> <laughs> he partied too He's much. got this long line and his booth is empty. empty. What about the fucking money? Also got to meet Mr. James Remar. Love James Remar. I'm a Warriors fan. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed Dexter and yeah. 48 Hours, where I, I was just, I'm intimidated, mm -hmm. you know, because he just, he kind of just has that serious kind of look and all that. But then you meet him and he's got just, a good voice too. He does, he does. And yeah. then you meet them and it's just, wow, he, he's, he's, he's a human being. He's an old man. I'll shove that bat up your ass and turn you into a popsicle. It's kind of like when a magician like shows you how they did their trick. It's like, oh. It is like, like you know, I, I know when I pick when I think of James Remar, and I think he's I think even in Dexter, I know he's his dad, and it's yeah. always the flashbacks. But there's a presence. There's like there a, is, yeah. there's gravitas. There is. And then when in person, it's ah, you're you're just a nice old man. You're just a nice man. old sweet man. It was good. It could be worse. He could have been a dick. Yeah, nobody was a dick. So yes, folks, I am reporting solo. 4K King. And you may be wondering why. Monster Mania have a strict, you must have seen the original classic Halloween before last week policy. Sorry, Matt. Dr. Tom Arnold, looking lonely. And Nick Castle still getting all this love from the 1970. Oh, I'm sorry, that's James Jude Courtney. Fuck that. The last person I met, well, last two people I met were the incomparable Joe Bob Briggs. Joe Bob. And his male assistant, Darcy the Mail Girl. How is Joe Bob doing these days? How's he doing? You talk to him, it looks like you got a great picture with him. I talked to him minimally. Uh, okay. It was, Darcy talked me up a lot more than Joe Bob. Fucking Momo, what's the matter with you? He wasn't mean at all, just, you know, very, just to the point. Nice, Not cordial. Not charismatic. You didn't get the Bo Joe Bob Briggs experience? No, I, I guess I shouldn't. That's a shame. I guess I did not. That, that one kind of made me tear up, you know? Uh, yeah, so let's- So what'd you uh, pick up? I was about to say, let's get into this. Yeah, what did you pick up? Yeah, so first I picked up this uh, nifty little eraser head pin. I wish I could shout out the vendor I picked mm -hmm. this up from. I thought this was cool though, dude. And I'm a, that's easily my favorite David Lynch film, classic oh. masterpiece. Th this booth, this guy was incredible. Did all these designs mm -hmm. that are essentially mashups of like punk records or old school hip hop records with 
horror movies mostly yeah. or movies. So this is uh, the New York Dolls mixed with Maniac. <laughs> <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> Which if you've seen Maniac, you know, he collects mannequins. Yeah. New York hardcore, the New York hardcore scene, only it's Snake Plissken and yeah. Escape from New York. Brain Scan. Nice. And then I also picked up this nice little Nightmare on Elm Street NES cover sticker. I loved this. I picked up this shirt. Let's see. Can we get it? Yeah, it's perfect. Yep. Awesome. That's awesome. I thought that was so clever. It's Not, very clever. Dude, Beastie Boys, Beastie yeah. Check Your Head, Check Your yeah. Hive. And yeah. I even love how, let's say if he just went with Macaulay Culkin, which obviously that's the joke. People yeah. may have confused it with Home Alone. He made sure to get Anna Klumski in there. Got to get the, the whole joke scene. lands home. Yeah. Well done. Got these uh, <laughs> purple basketball shorts. I did get James Remar to sign something. Uh, it was Warriors related. He just wrote a quote. I didn't ask him. Typically, I ask them to write something asinine. You know, you get a lot of vendors there, too, who sell Blu-rays. As I said, Vinegar Syndrome, you get official ones. I like looking at these when I go. And these are, they're rips. Mm -hmm. They're VHS rips to DVD. But you'll find a lot of movies that never made the jump. Yeah. And... Honestly, if you find the right person, you'll get good quality. I mean, best quality that you can get. First one I picked up was the uh, Hard to Die. Hard to Die. Hard to Die. This is Jim Wynorski's Die Hard, which if <laughs> okay. you're familiar with his work, it's uh, low budget. So basically what he does is this is Die Hard only with young, scantily clad models Instead of intelligence, we just get a madman running around the building trying to kill people. Okay. And, and these scantily is, clad women are doing the diehard thing. Yes, yes. Okay. And it is hilarious. I actually referenced this. A Night in Heaven. Recently, you did. Because John G. Advils made A Night in Heaven. A Night in Heaven. This has never made it to DVD even. So it's not on Blu-ray, not on anything. I'm a big fan of this film. It's hilarious. Uh, it, it's a gay cult classic. Okay. <laughs> because it was unintentionally... They unintentionally gay? Is that what it yes. was? Like it's... It wasn't intended to be that way. Entertaining, though. I love movies like this where you can kind of laugh at the unintentional hilarity, but it's also entertaining. It's not a chore to sit through. And third, I picked up the Greg Araki film, Nowhere. 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 I've never seen this, okay. but I've been trying to watch it for years. The reason why I'm interested in it, Greg Araki did Mysterious Skin, which we covered as well, mm -hmm. and I'm a fan of. Mysterious Skin, as great as it was, I figured I'd go back, yeah. and I've always wanted to go back and check out this movie, which has an incredible cast. And James Duvall, Christina Applegate, Nathan Bexton, Rachel True, Jason Simmons, Kathleen Robertson, Jeremy Jordan, Heather Graham, Tracy Lords, and John Ritter. Wow, this this is came like, out in like 97 or something though. Damn, so with those this, this was when ensemble these people, cast and these people were were relevant at this time it's not yeah. like this came out last year so yeah i've always been uh intrigued and i look forward to digging into this so that's awesome dude so overall great experience great time great merch yes great memories monster mania 2021 in the books maybe next year we'll both go if you want to get wasted with Tony Todd at casinos like the 4K Kings do, make sure you subscribe to our page, like this video, set up the notifications so you don't miss any future videos, and keep supporting physical media.